Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies and welcome to a little Poundland shopping video. We haven't been in for a little while so I thought we'd pop in to my local Poundland and just see what bits and pieces they've got. Now when you first walk in this store they have lots of like toiletries, um, they have sort of um, toothpaste and mouthwash and things on that side and they have Pep and Co in this store as well. Um, Let's just look at this little section to start with. I mean, things like these little hair bits and bobs are really good. I mean, I've got long hair. I always use clips and things like this when I'm separating and um, drying mine. So they're really, really good. Also, if you colour hair, these are handy little things as well because you've got like a set there so you can um, colour them and a little bowl and stuff. They're really good for, for a pound just to have in. There's bits to do hair buns as well. There's hair grips. Um, loads of clips there for kids so you always lose them don't you that's the thing with hair clips so they're good to have a big pack of them these tiny bubbles as well these are good because they sort of they're easier to put in when you're doing little styles and you've not got a big clumpy kind of bubble um, this section is just like hand gel hand sanitizer all things like that um, different soaps down the bottom there's a few men's bits and bobs here. I have noticed a few shops have started getting gift sets in. Um, here we've got a Superman wash bag and a pair of socks. That's £3. And then there's um, a, a Gillette set there. That's £5. So I have noticed that they're getting a few. Um, there's Nivea for men up there as well. Um, this, this Nivea is um, a good... I use, not obviously the men's one, but I use the Nivea spray. Um, I've found that lots of other deodorants don't really work very well, but i found that Nivea does, and that the Nivea men's good as well. Let's have a quick look at the makeup section over here. Um, obviously, they've got all the nail polishes, and I've been looking for a nail hardener. Oh, they've finally got some in. In this store, they haven't had this in for ages. So you've got your top and your base coat there, nail hardener, which is what I need, so I'm going to pick one of those up. And my mum wants one of these ridge fillers for a nail so I'm finally going to be able to buy one of those and they've got all these glitters so you could get these colours and then maybe just pop like a little bit of glitter over the top of one of them that would look quite nice um, this bit here looks a little bit empty um, what have we got here this is like a little eyeshadow set that's quite good isn't it four different colours for a pound that's really good um, right over this little section here what have we got down here? Lots of little clips and things. Some of these have fallen off the shelf or customers have been having a bit of a rummage. But this store is normally really, really tidy. It is, it is one of, probably one of the best they've got. Um, some nails. Don't mind for a pound, do you really? If you, if you like those sort of nails. Um, eyelashes. What about these ones? These are £1.50. They're quite nice ones, actually. Pop them up there. And then they've got different makeup brushes as well nail clippers we always lose nail clippers in our house and see these are good to buy um not this that's supposed to be somewhere else um but these are good to buy for crafting when you're doing decoupage look you get loads in there look for a pound you can do all your decoupage you know where you get your napkin off the side so they're really good right let's have a look here we've got some baby bits and pieces here um cotton buds, baby dove, like um, a, a wash and over here they've got some more baby stuff like the little sippy cups, a baby manicure set there, there's a little silicone bib, but even if your your little ones like dolls and things, these little cups and bottles are quite cute for them to play with their dolls, um, little pots that you know they can pretend, so that's quite good. And then this section here is the Pep and Co section. So obviously they do the clothes. They're a little bit low on things in there today. Right, so in this section here, we've got some more Pep and Co stuff. Um, they do obviously lots of like homeware, houseware, those sorts of things. Um, for instance, this little succulent set, that's five pounds there. Um, we've got like outdoor solar lights. Um, there's a few different ones there. They're three pounds for those. Um, and then these here are any four for five pounds. So if you want kind of that little sparkly effect, you can get the outdoor lights here. These are net lights, curtain lights, and then there's some there that like wrap around a tree, which are quite cute. They've got string lights as well. 
We've even got some that go in the ground there. They're, um, I'm not sure how much they are. They might be, no, the ticket's the wrong ticket, so I wouldn't like to tell you on those. Um, and then they've got like the gardening, moving to the gardening bits there. We've even got um, grass stuff, lawn and weed killer over there. Well, I'm quite surprised to see this actually. We've got some Yankee candles. These are the medium jars for £10. Um, so what Franks we've we got Pink Island Sunset and then we've got Banana Flower there they're £10 we've also got these small jars as well these are a fiver um, so they're the um, Yankee Sentiments tin so they've got one that says Believe and what's that one there that says Peace so you could start and pick up some little bits for I don't want to say the C word but you know I'm going to for Christmas um, there's some larger candles there as well um, what have we got down here? These are 125. So we've got linen breeze, wild berry, peony, and patchouli. Do you know I love the smell of peony? I really do. They're 125. They'd be great as a um, in a little gift basket. But do you know when you've used the candle, wash them out, and you could use those jars. Obviously, make sure the jars are, are sterilised and nice and clean. But you could use those again for things. Um, they're so quick, uh, cute there. There's some swans there. They're four pounds. There's a little heart ornament there for five. And so they've got some different bedding and things down there. They're £10, like greys and pinks. They've got some um, storage cubes here. These are £2, so you can they kind of interlock together. So you can put shoes. But these would be good for craft things as well. And then they've got all sorts of different towels, pinks and greys. They've also got a, a floral kind of bouquet there for a fiver. Right, just uh, moved over to the other side. Got some toys here. There's even a Poundland Monopoly down there. They've done Monopoly for so many things, haven't they? Um, right, what have we got here? We've got some dinosaur adventures. Alfie would love that. We've got um, a dark kind of um, shooter. Some different teddies there. Obviously, all these are different prices. We've got um, build your own dinosaurs there. They're fiver. Um, but lots of like little tiny presents like in the holidays if you don't have a great deal of money you could pick up you know just some little pound two pound bits and bobs just to do with the kids you know because the thing is I know it's nice to say oh you can take the kids out in the summer holidays but no, you can't afford to do it sometimes all the while or even at all you know and I think you get this huge guilt don't you as a parent if you can't afford to take your kids out anywhere and do things and seemingly lots of other parents take theirs out and you do feel pretty bad so you know pop into places like this spend a couple of pounds get some bits even some outdoor toys and just do some bits with them these are five pounds um or are they five pounds because that label says something else i don't know how much these are but these are quite cute phoebe's got a big one of these and they're really squidgy she loves it um right down here what have we got we've got some like camping stuff there's also like, you know, like travel bits and pieces. So if you've not been away, because a lot of people, you know, don't go away in the summer holiday because it is a little bit pricier. So kind of stock up on it if, you, if you've still got to go away. We've got the beach mats there. So you might be going somewhere in this country. You could pick the bits up from Poundland before you go because they'll be so much cheaper. Got bubble machines and things like bowls. We've got bowls at home. That's a nice game to play with the kids. So, how much is that in here? That's four pounds in here. So, you know, you could pick up bits and bobs like that if they're a little bit older and they can um, and they can play. Um, we've got their little space hopper things, um, and then you've got the barbecues. They do um, some of the country parks and things. They let you take barbecues. Just check, but you could take one of these and go. And, you know have a run about with the kids and then do a little barbecue there but this big one's six pounds so if you've got like a few of you then that's really good and they've got a small one down there which is 150 right so we'll just move around and we're going to have a look at this little craft section sometimes the craft section's rubbish but we'll hope, <laughs> hope there's some good stuff today um down the bottom here we've got some canvas blank canvases oh, we all need one of those once in a while don't we um, they're 160. Oh, I've never seen a 160. Well, I think there's an 80p. Um, oh, and a 120. So they're changing. They're not rounding up to, to pounds on everything. What's that here? That's thinner. Low odour thinner. Uh, a canvas scroll. 
what else have we got so we've got some oil pastels there these are like mini mini canvases like black ones um what's that one that says art masking fluid it's got a bit out of focus there uh, but that's what that says and there's a dark color as well i don't know what that is so let me know if you know so different oil pastels watercolor pencils these are 80p they're a pound for those and then over here we've got painting like they're not painting by numbers but all the little sections are there so you can see which bit to paint in so they're five pounds and you've got a cupcake one and there's a dog one and then there's one with a lady on it as well and then at the top there's um whoops that's falling off that was kind of let me put that back hang on that's it so there's a leaf one there um and then i don't know what that is like an abstract kind of one so and then there look we've got simple pencil art sets so you get rubbers and um or razors as we call as you call them in other parts of the world charcoal pencils um yeah so there's quite a few nice little art bits and bobs there let's just move down to this section and see what else we've got so i always find these little tubs really handy um you can use it for loads of different things let me show you what compartments they've got so it's just like that can you see little compartments at the top and then a bigger one there i think that's quite cute great for for beads and stuff like if you do jewelry making or little tiny bits and bobs maybe mixed media or something that's good um we've got watercolor pens there we've got uh, sorry paints we've got oil and we've got acrylic markers so here we've got what color is that that's black pink yellow and gold so the gold one is 80p and the others are a pound and then they do lots of acrylic paints as well so they do these so again if you're doing your mixed media they do all those um, and then they've got the larger tubes which are 160 and what's this here this looks like paper that's the paper there 80p and we've got some colouring books down there as well so I know lots of you like doing your colouring Chloe likes doing that and Phoebe actually Ebony will sit and do it as well and I think for Christmas I've got Courtney a tattoo colouring book and sometimes it's nice and relaxing right this section we've got some coloured card that's a pound for that and then there's some white card as well it's a good price you get 25 sheets for a pound and then we've got some colouring pencils stamp sets there. So this is £3, but they're really nice for the kids, aren't they? And look, if they're doing little bits of work, even if you teach them at home, let's show you, look. There's little, little stamps, so I'm just dropping things. There's little stamps here that say, so good, nice work, awesomeness. So you could give them like little stamps for work they've done or whatever, just to encourage them. What's this here? Uh, crepe paper, red and yellow, that's 80p. And they've also got some green and blue. And then they've got some bright tissue paper there as well. And then they've got um, like a pastel kind of set, that's a pound, and then some gold. They're always good to keep in those sorts of things, um, like keeping your stash. Got some kids like wax crayons, chunky markers. Um, these are good for like little party bag things or even to keep the kids occupied look a pound um if they if they'll sit and do that things like that are good you know what i'm saying just get little bits and bobs to keep them occupied like even like a little set like that look a pound if you're going in the car somewhere maybe you're going seaside look you could get them that little pound activity set to do in the car on the way there's even a dinosaur one there look but alfie and izzy like that izzy likes dinosaurs too but alfie doesn't like stickers um, but is it like stickers these are good as well little chalkboards all mine had these they just loved playing with them that one's quite good it's got a little stand thing on the side can you see so it stands up a bit and it's still a pound i do believe even though it might, though it might be the wrong label but that's good oh and izzy likes pepper pig that's a velvet art so they're a little bit easier to do because they're kind of velvet in it's, it's harder to sort of color over the lines I bet she'd like that. Maybe it's got felt tips, so not sure how she'd get on with that. <laughs> There's a T-Rex there, pop-out T-Rex. And then look at those huge googly eyes. They're massive, aren't they? 
Um, and then down this section here, we've just got lots of little toys and, um, you know, just like bits and bobs, really. Um, it's an artist pad. What's that? Oh, Paw Patrol. Alfie loves Paw Patrol. So different colouring pages. Um, lots of reusable stickers. That's sweet. Oh, what's this here? Let me just get this down for you and show you this. This is cute. So it's got all the, the weather. So they can do the weather on the top. You can write the dates. It's got like a, a whiteboard marker. Then at the top here, you've got whatever season it is. And then you've got the days of the week. So they can write that down. They can put what the weather's like and whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, and then the month. But that is really cute. That is good. There's a Spider Man artist pad there as well. What's here? A little Disney colouring book. Um, so there's loads of like bits and pieces to keep them occupied. And then we've got back to school stuff here as well. So different books. We've got to get Ebb some books. She normally has, uh, we normally get hers from Tesco's. Um, I think they've got a deal on the, the the nice ones on club card price at the minute so I think we'll go in and get those this section lots of different folders we've got the A5 books but yeah this store is a bit messy for this store it's never normally like this I can't even get that back in there hang on let's get that in there you've got some list pads um, princess notebooks little shopping list oh I always lose my list so I make a list forget the list never works well what's this one dream plan do oh that's good if you're organizing something maybe like a wedding or something um, nice planner there that's six pounds I think um, so goals lists weekly planner reflection and notes oh that's a nice little book Let's pop that back in there. Um, different notepads and books there. Um, what have we got down here? Pencil tins. And then at the top, there's little sets like a stationery set there. That'd be good for that's a Nerf one, so boys or girls would like those, wouldn't they? Uh, clear pencil case they're good for when you, you've, you're doing exams and congratulations if you've got your, your GCSE results and you did really well I know they've just gone out this week and if you didn't do as well as you expected don't worry try again you can uh, there's always opportunities in life so don't worry if you didn't get the results you wanted um, these are the pens that Ebbs likes I need to get her some of those actually those zebra pens she likes those i like these like big ones the soft feel ones they're pound for three. Oh, we've got some different colored envelopes down here look 150 for three there's black ones oh they're the normal white mailers they look quite cute don't they little handheld dispenser there tape dispenser that's is that two pounds i think it is i'm not sure though sometimes it's hard to tell isn't it and what have we got here some basic envelopes again all that's really handy to have in right what's this packaging tape up here oh look craft packaging tape that's two pounds so it's a craft kind of feel Ooh, and i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm just going to reach up and get this dispenser because this is a large tape dispenser and that's 250 so if you're doing your packaging if you're selling online and that that's quite good for 250 and then you could maybe buy the craft tape as well to go with it they've got bubble wrap 150 and then they've also got the parcel tape that's a pound so you've got two of the brown parcel tape right just over at this homeware section now things like these glasses are really good for doing um crafts with you can glitter them or you could even use a um, cricket and put some vinyl on the front they're really good um different glasses there's some more of the superman stuff here as well there's also a hip flask. You could personalise that hip flask. You could even personalise the Superman glass as well. Um, there's champagne sets again. You can personalise those bride and groom or put the names on if someone's getting married then pop them back in the box they came in. Um, different mugs down here. Uh, what are these? Little bowls, little prep bowls. I've got a few of these. They're a pound, that's good. Just like if you're putting weighing bits out and, and stuff got some placemats and coasters here they're two pounds so you get two placemats and two coasters so you can if you need four you can get that or six 
There's some uh, slate coast um, placemats and then slate coasters. Um, what else have we got over here? So different baking trays. There's um, the loaf tins there. If you're making, um, you can make bread or you can make like um, different flavored cakes. This section we've got jars. Again, you can label these up. This is something that I'm doing in my kitchen at the moment with spices and jars. I'm just going to label them on my Cricut machine. I've got a tub there. Great for fridge organisation. You can write on with chalk on the top dates or what's inside. Um, some more jars down there. Ah, look, you see, if you haven't got a Cricut machine, you can get these already done. So they're a pound and you get all of these things on the on the front that you can stick on jars so look you can get a rice one a pasta one meats condiments and then look you can get your jars and you can put those on so you can do all that yourself you don't actually need to have you know a cricket machine because they are expensive even though you can buy the the labels and stuff online if you want to like people on ebay print things for you so you could always do that and then we've got some snacks and things here got some mini croissants they're a pound um, the kids like these they've got the chocolate spread inside um, got the panna chocola down there mine like those <clears throat> and then different cake bits cake ingredients sultana see i'm going to put some of these bits in my tubs that i've got I maybe put some raisins in them and then just do little labels for those just so they're not all loose in the cupboard um, I'm going to put some brown sugar in one of mine as well. Um, so, yeah, it's just about... I just want to put them out and make them look nice, really. Just have a quick look at their snacks and things. The Barney Bears, they're always popular. Even though my girls are really old now. <laughs> well, they're not really old. They'll kill me for saying that. They're not babies, should I say. Uh, they still like the Barney Bear biscuits and cakes and whatever. So, they still like those. They do Milka... Ooh, that made me jump. Um, different crackers, Ritz crackers, Tuck crackers. These are the things that you get a free tub with. And then lots of crisps. Do you know, food has gone up so much. I don't know if you notice as well, but it is literally so expensive now. Um, for bits and bobs and shopping, everything's gone up. So I think we've got to save it where we can. And then lots of different crisps over here sensations there's a max crisps there twiglets i was thinking about twiglets this morning because i had marmite on toast i was thinking not many people like marmite do they and they're very similar aren't they twiglets got sensations down there little cracker um what are these little pretzels pretzel pieces that's honey mustard jalapeno garlic bread um, what's that? Scampy bites. Got porky puffs and some popcorn. And these are the cheese savouries. Joe, you know, these have been about for years, and obviously people are still buying them because they're in virtually every shop I go in. So, yeah, look at those cheese savouries. They was always about Christmas, weren't they? You used to put them out in a bowl. There's some sour cream and chive ones there. And in this pound, they have like a real big fridge as well. So they do all the cold kind of foods and, and stuff as well but i hope you've enjoyed having a little look around with me it's been a little while since we've done a pound lamb video so i hope you've enjoyed it um i hope you're all keeping safe and well and i'll see you again soon bye for now guys